Hi everyone, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I'm from Ohio. I'm coming to bring you a video of using the All Squared Away stamp set and um, dies. And the reason why I'm doing this is just showing a couple cards with it is because I am trying to use some of my stuff that I um, haven't used before since the catalog is getting ready to end. And with that being said, here's all my information with my online store, my host code for the next couple of days, and also um, my email address, and then my um, Facebook group, Stamp Crazy VIP, where you can always run over there and pick up the PDF for the cards I made, which this is the PDF for the two cards I'm going to be doing tonight, along with two extra card ideas that I made with the same set. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember, we still have that 20% off sale that's going on, and this stamp set is actually one of those sets right here. Where instead of $50, right now it's $40 while supplies last. And um, I decided I hadn't done that, so I was going to go ahead and <coughs> work with it today with you guys. One of the main things I want to bring up that it's going to be just a little over a month. We're going to be bringing out our new catalog, and here it is in person. The only thing is, is I can't open it, but this is what it's going to look like. This is the front, which is really, really pretty. I like all the flowers and stuff, but you turn it over, and here's the back, and I think that's really, really pretty also. So, um, this is what our catalog will be looking like. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like to receive a catalog, please send me an email at RitaHolmes0611 at gmail.com or make a comment in the video here and um, I'll get with you about being able to send you a catalog. Um, the catalogs will go live on May 3rd. So I, w I get to place an order on May 1st. I'll be ordering my catalog so I'll have them ready to be coming in and to be out. So right now I'm just going to concentrate on doing a stamp set I hadn't done. This card I saw did almost verbatim from Pinterest and I forgot the girl's name that I saw it from. She did it last year when the catalog last year first came out with this stamp set. And this one is just a little bit different than the one I saw. And uh, that's what inspired me just to go ahead and do it. So I'm just redoing um, some things I saw added a little bit. I added um, mats in here on mine and stuff. I like that pop of color. So if you wouldn't mind sharing my video, just hit the share button so anybody might see my video that um, wouldn't else see it except for you watching it. And also give me a thumbs up button. I would really, really appreciate that. So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to show you the other cards I made first. And I made them in sets. And this is just a simple card. And this one I put a little 2x2 two two mat behind it. The DSP there is our New Horizons, the back side of the um, what looks like the um, landscape pictures. I have... Um, that's the back side. Same with this one, but I did not put a border around it or this one. But that's all the same piece of paper. And you can see wherever you cut it, that's got a lot of blue in it. This is getting towards pinks and stuff like that. So all of your cards will look different with it. I also took the ink colors that's going to be going out this year that will be retiring because they're bringing in new ink colors, and I got, you know me, I always get glue or something on there. This is the um, Bumblebee. This is Misty Moonlight. This is Cinnamon Cider. This is Magenta Madness. And then I did the wrong one. This should have been just Jade, but I did Soft Succulent, so there would be a just Jade one, and that would have been the five... Um, in colors. But anyway, you can make these in all different colors. It makes a simple birthday card. I just put happy birthday 
Live Life in Full Bloom. I just did sentiments from other stamp sets there. Let me show you the stamp set. The All Squared Away stamp set is this one. The only thing I used out of here were these two sayings. Um, and then here is the dies that I used, and I used all of those. Um, but you can stamp your own backgrounds instead of using DSP. DSP is kind of easier, but you can do that any way you want. So I'll tell you the measurements as we go along with our cards. And um, that way you will have them or you are more than welcome to go over and snatch that PDF if you want to off of my Facebook Live. I mean, my Facebook group, which I do Facebook Lives um, every Tuesday morning um, at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if you're ever up and want to come watch a video live, we have those there. I'm going to do this card first, so I'm going to move my information. If you need a screenshot of that, there it is. Um, we'll move this card out of our way for the time being. We'll scoot this one up. Make sure we keep it in view a little bit. And then we'll start. The only thing we're using is a piece of... And how'd I get black? And this is from this morning, I'm sure. So let's just erase ink. I show you guys how to do all kinds of little crazy stuff with my papers, but that's okay too. Okay, let's go ahead and flip that over. And we'll do the fold, we'll use the bone folder on the score line that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and folded the next thing we're going to do is bring in our craft mat because i am going to do my ribbon but before i do my ribbon i'm going to work my card up i'm going to go ahead and put my saying i want that down at the bottom and i don't want my ribbon to get in the way so i'm going to go ahead and stamp that first and it says that have a perfect day. And I actually use the sayings out of Blessings of Home. The have a perfect day on the inside it says you are a real blessing to everyone around you. Makes perfect birthday cards, I think. Lifts someone's spirits at the same time of telling them happy birthday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp it right down here in the bottom right hand corner. And then while I have my stamps out, I'm going to go ahead and take the saying for the inside and we'll go ahead and stamp that. And we'll have our stamping out of the way because that is the only stamping we are doing today on this card. So there we go. That part is done. We'll put this stamp pad up so I don't get my fingers in it because I am notorious for doing stuff like that. So what I want to do with my ribbon here is I am going to take, I'm going to get some of the glue. You know, if you have the craft mat, if you get glue on it, you can just, when it dries, take your fingers and just wipe that off. Makes it nice to use. This ribbon is cut five and a quarter. I mean, cut. it's cut five and a quarter, not five and a quarter by anything. That'll go down here, and I'm just going to trim the edges, but before I trim my edges, I'm going to go ahead and use my Tombow. Now, you could use your Stampin', if you have the Stampin' seal, that is a little bit stickier, and it kind of pulled on my ribbon, so I got my Tombow back out, and I'm just going to do this on each end of my ribbon. And it will not, when we put this on the card, you will not feel the sticky on the other side. Which I know that sounds amazing. But it is the truth. Which I think is really good. And I've done this on several other cards that I've done before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my little scissors here. And I am just going to... Cut an angle off of each end of that, that ribbon to 
put on my card. And I don't want to lay it down yet because it's got the sticky on it. So what I want to do is I just take my hand and hold my card down, kind of measure where I've got, see if I got it kind of even. And we're just going to lay that down. And that way, hopefully, we don't get all this messy fray on the sides. So there we go. We have our ribbon down. What we're going to do next is I took out of my dies that I used, which were these. I used this flower and cut it three times. So I have three of these. And we're going to cut the frame from around it. I already do for the sake of time on here. I've already done two, but I'm going to do one with you. Because they're really easy to cut. I know some people say, well, that's going to be hard, but no, not really. What I do is just take at the bottom of this leaf, and I just kind of round that around to flip that bottom up. Then this part, I just bring that up. It just said on my iPad that my video was interrupted. I hope it's okay, whatever was going on. And I'll make a leaf out of that. I'll come up to this part here. And I'll just cut. That away from my flower. And this one little one over here, I'm going to cut the frame away right there. So I can round this little part right here. To go with the flower and we have that cut out okay that's all you have to do to cut them out they go pretty fast once you get used to them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my middle one first so i'm going to take some glue see if we got any glue left in this one yeah we do so let me scoot that up a little bit scoot all this up so i'm just putting some glue to hold my flower down in places and I'm going to take and kind of line that up as much in the center as I can center things which isn't always really good but that's okay then I'm going to do this to the other two flowers and I'm just adding a little bit of glue Just want to get those down. I hope my video is going okay because I think I know my, what might be going wrong is I am probably running out of juice on my phone. Let me plug my phone in real quick. Because we don't want to run out of juice. I meant to do that before. I've been on my phone a lot today. So there we go. Kind of got everything out of Miss little combobulated there, but I'm sorry. I just thought of that. It's probably my phone. So I have all three flowers down. Let's just turn that over and give that a quick rub. Just so we have those down. And the next thing we're going to do on the dies, they have flowers to match your flowers in here. The only one that doesn't have one to match is this one right here. Here's the one that goes with that. So what I did is I took these two flowers and I cut out three different colors. I cut out So Saffron. Highland Heather. And Flirty Flamingo. This morning when I did my live video, I had forgot to cut the Florida Flamingo, so I did two um, Highland Heathers with a So Saffron in the middle. So we can put these, you know, any place we want. Let me find my little dimensionals, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a dimensional on each of the big ones. We'll use one of the mini dimensional and we're just going to cover that flower up the green one and it stands up okay we'll do that with all three of these big ones so let's go ahead and do that
And then what we're going to do with these three little ones, let me turn them over, make sure I get them on the back side. I want my good, good side to show. And don't we all? Don't we all want that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and cut it in half. And I'm just going to put it at the bottom. of the flower and I never get these cut exactly in half but I try doesn't always work so we're gonna leave half of this one on my little thing right there for another time since I'm only doing three flowers okay so let's push down on those and let them stick. We'll go ahead and put on our big flowers first. Makes a cute little spring card. You could do this as a get well card, thinking of you. You could do so many things with this little card. Um, because it is like a little happy card. You could even cut your little flowers out of DSP if you wanted to. There's just a whole lot of stuff you can do. So, and as you can see, it doesn't matter where you place your flowers. I did them different than what was up there. I wasn't even really paying attention to that part, really. Not that whoever you send these to, you send it to two different people and they don't know, but sometimes it's just fun to do that. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the in colors, the 2021-23 in color jewels that will be going out of the catalog. So um, I'm trying to use some of those up and I'm going to use the evening evergreen that we have on here and I'm going to use... I think I'm gonna use one small one and two big ones. Cause I try to mix that up cause I tend to go with using the same thing over and over. So there we go. We got three little um, jewels on there. So that is that card made quick and easy and fun. So let's set these to the side and we're gonna bring out our other card, which is the slimline card, which is right here. I love making slimline cards. I don't do it often enough, but they're cute. And what I did is I used three of the four dies and I think I used this one, this one, and this one because I used the other one on the other card. And I'm gonna use all four of them. And so I cut some of the little flowers here I cut this flower here, and then this one goes right here. And I used Flirty Flamingo again, Pale Papaya, and um, Poppy Parade. And Poppy Parade is my background right there. So I will tell you the measurements of this because it is a slimline card. It will fit perfectly into a business type envelope. So I've already had it in the envelope and it fits perfect, it hangs out on both sides. So that works really great. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with our card base. And our card base is nine and a quarter by seven and a half, scored at three and three quarter, so that you get this size card, okay? What I am going to go ahead and do after that is, Bring in my flirty flamingo. I didn't, when well, I showed you on that card, I didn't do my card. How about that? Does my video keep interrupting on your end? I sure hope not. It keeps coming up video interrupted and then it does a quick, I don't know what. So I don't know what that's about. Don't know if it's our connection. Maybe it's raining and stuff. It's supposed to be raining. So here's my card. Here's my piece of Poppy Parade, which is three and a half by nine. 
gives me a quarter inch um, border. And I'm just going to add some glue to that. And we'll stick this on. And I am not going to place my white on there yet, but I'm going to lay it on here. And the reason being is I want to place my other pieces before I glue it down. So we're going to make our other pieces real quick. And what that is, is I use the Pattern Party DSP that's in the catalog. If you have a $150 order, you can order that. Um, and it's also going away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those three. I'm also going to go ahead and bring out my flower for each one of them. Well, there we go. There's our flowers. And this little flower right here if I can pick him up. His little dot didn't come out of the center, so let's poke that out. There we go. Okay. On your um, dies right here, if you cut, if you want your paper to fit just inside of it like this so it doesn't show on the outside, you're going to want to cut it one and three quarter by one and three quarter. Now, if you want, let me get my one card out here, like one of these. If you want to do a border, you're going to cut that at, at two by two. But for it to fit in the inside, it's one and three quarter by one and three quarter. Now, since I'm using stripes, I want all of my stripes to go the same way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up because, see... I'm going to turn that one around, I think, because I want the red like that. There we go. And I think I'll put this one in the center. That's how I'm going to do my cards. Okay. And these aren't really going to matter which way I put those. This will be good today. So let's take this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my craft mat back in. And I hope you can see this. I'm going to move all this up just a hair. So I can bring this into full view here. So you can see what I'm doing. Is I've turned this over. And I'm going to take. And I'm just going to add some glue. Around this border here. The little frame part. So I'm adding me some glue there. And then I'll just put a couple little places on the flower and the leaves, just so it holds it down really well. Because we don't want that popping off. So I'm making sure I got that the same way. And actually, I'm gonna turn this over and do it this way. And therefore, I'll just put that down, turn it over and just rub it. And if I get any excess glue, it's right here on my craft mat, and it's okay. So there's our first one. Now let's do this one. We'll turn it over. And as you can see, I'm just doing this little outline, and I'm just barely putting any glue on it, barely squeezing the glue bottle. Turn it, well, I'm not going to turn it over. I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to bring my piece of paper in, my DSP. And I'm going to lay it down. So that it's in there. And I'm going to rub it. There's that one. Let's do our last one. We're just going to bring it in. Do the same thing we've done on the other two. The more you do these, the easier this part gets. You, you learn how to control that glue a little bit as you go on. 
And then I'm going to bring this one. Just turn it over. This is a great way to use up scraps of DSP. You know, if you've got to use up your scraps, here's a way to do it. Now we can move our craft mat out of the way. I'll bring these in, and what I'm gonna do with these now is I'm gonna glue my little flowers on. As soon as I get glue, I didn't get glue all over the table, but I got it on my fingers a little bit. So we will open that glue back up and we will line these flowers up. And there's only one of them I tried to line up beforehand. Because they do fit on there just, and if you let a little bit of that white flower show underneath, that's okay too but I try to line it up as good as I can and put that down. Let's do our itty bitty flowers. These are like too, too little to hold for my big hands because I have some big hands and I'm just going to add these down to these little flowers and I'm just gonna do these two close to the bottom instead of the ones at the top the two down here, because there's actually four little flowers on there. But we're not going to cover it with all four flowers. Two, two is good. Two is good. So let's just add those. And then this flower is the only one that I put on here because you have to pretty well match it up. So, let me see which way it matches. It's not that way. I think it's this way. Yes. That was the way it matches. So, I want to make sure that this one's down towards the bottom. Like I just messed that up. Okay, got it. Got it. And I'm just going to put that around in the circle mainly. I'll drag it out since I got so much. So that one's going to go down there. We're going to match that up. Okay, earlier today in my video, what I did was we've got this one that's going portrait style or vertical. This one, we did a horizontal one today, and I think I'm going to do that again tonight just to show you the difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to add two. Of our flowers over here, two of our little floral squares. And then we'll add one to this side and we'll stamp our saying in the center there. And then what I did is I kind of just did this for placement and I'll put it together in a minute. But I just want to make sure that I can get my saying in there. And I'm going to move these over just a little bit. And we're going to bring in our saying that says... It's the wrong one. The best thing about today is you. And we're going to use our Memento ink. And I'm going to stamp that right in here. Okay, and before I do the rest, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these, turn them over, and I'm going to leave that there because I know how far I want to place that in. So I can place this one in at the same time. I did not bring any big dimensionals out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my little ones. So I'll put some of these on here. These little ones are a pain though, oh my goodness. 
you have little hands, I guess it's okay. My hands are not little. But I'm going to go ahead and get these on here. Give them a good press down so that I know they're sticking really well. And I will take off the papers. The little ones, you got to really get those pressed down to be able to get the papers off without the little dimensional popping back up on you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place this about as far in from the side as that. So there's that one. We'll do this one. This is a really cute little card. I hope you guys like it. You can do, I just want to show you, you could do it both um, horizontal or vertical or landscape or portrait, whichever way you want to call it. Okay, we got those off. So now let's put this one over here. I'm going to put it about right there. Okay, let's put our dimensionals on this one. And then we'll stamp the inside and this card will be done. Fast, simple cards with the All Squared Away bundle, which will be going away in our new catalog. It is... Um, on the 20% off sale. If you don't have it and you think you would like it, uh, now would be the time to order it. Um, I'm always welcome to new orders on my Facebook, which is, um, or my site, which is readaholmes.stampinup.net. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love if you use that. Um, this sale will be on sale until the end of April or until, well, it won't be on sale. I think the sale ends. Let me make sure. But it'll be available. Yeah, the sale ends March 31st. But the items, as long as they're not gone, will be on sale till the end of April. But if you want it by the sale price, you need to see that by, or order that by April 31st or May 31st I'm sorry so I'm going to bring this in kind of line it up there and then I'm going to turn it over I'm going to glue it on and then I'm going to put my dimensionals on or, or my embellishments on the front we'll stamp the inside with a little saying and it will be a done card let's put our glue away don't need it so we're just going to do this this way. I'm going to make sure I got my card opening the right way. I have been known I've made cards upside down. And I don't want to do that today. Let's turn that over and just give them a quick rub on the back. We'll open that and put our inside saying and then we'll put our embellishments on it. And the inside, we put the outside. The best thing about today is you. Happiest of birthdays to you. So I made two birthday cards. Can't go wrong with birthday cards. So let's go ahead and stick that right there. That card is done. Except for embellishments. And all I did was I used our clear jewels. Okay. And that's what we are going to use. I am going to put a big jewel... I can get it off without it flipping over. There we go. Into the center of this flower because it's got a pretty big hole. The rest of them I'm going to put smaller jewels on them. And we're just covering up their little holes there. And that is our done card. So, let me know in the comments which one you liked the best. If you liked the portrait one, which is up and down, 
or the vertical one or the landscape one, which is side to side. You let me know that which one you like. I tend to like, I don't know, I like them both, but I like making the landscape cards. I am I like to do that. I even do that in my regular cards a lot. So that's what I tend to go to. So I wanted to show you guys that. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all I have for today. I hope you have a blessed day, night, morning, whatever time you watch this. And remember, if you do want this set, it is on sale um, till the end of the month, which is only a couple more days in March. But it doesn't go, it's not discontinued until the end of April or until supplies last. So if they run out of it, they won't have it for sale. Now, yeah, they could run out of the stamp set and still have the dies, or they could run out of the dies and still have the same stamp set. My humble opinion of all this is the, the more need is for the dies than it is the stamp set because you always have, especially if you like to use DSP, you always have different sentiments and different stamp sets to use. And that is a, a good bargain for you. So I hope you all have a nice night or like I said, day, morning, whichever. And I'll see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.